Oh, he regen health. What the heck? Heck nah, bro. No way. Hello, gamer. Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be the first episode of my hardcore core keeper series. So we are throwing out hardcore now. Um, let's create our character really fast. Uh, I always go with the uh, spiky hair. We're going to go with Super Saiyan Gold there. We got to have the green eyes and the orange uh, jumpsuit. Oh my god, can I get it on there, please? Boy. <laughs> this is not going well already. Alright, Orange. Um, we're going to name him a Suro Plus. And a background, we're going to go with a Chef. We're going to be doing a lot of cooking, why not? Anyways, while we're loading in, if you'd please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And comment down below if you'd like to see a part two to this. If not, that is definitely okay. Now, my objectives for this first episode is we want to find Glitch the Abominous Mass, and we want to be able to defeat him, get the merchant back to our base. That's my goal for this first episode. Now, as soon as we load in, I'm going to go ahead and chop up this wood. I am going to try to make this video or these videos uh, kind of informative, just in case that way you, you might find something that you didn't know about the game. And if you comment down and uh, interact with me in the comment section below, you'll probably be able to tell me something that even I didn't know in the game. So, it's a win-win. Now, I am going to craft a pickaxe, and I see water here, so it's really nice that we already have a water source. Because we're going to be doing a lot of planting. And the reason you're going to be doing a lot of gardening, that is because you need to keep your food and your health up like at all times. Because in hardcore mode, if you die, you lose your character completely. So it's really nice that we already have some water here. Now this first episode might be a little bit slower just because it takes forever to get started. But as we go on the future episodes, I will cut through a lot of the boring like farming of certain resources and things like that. That way you're not just staring at me mindlessly mining through a bunch of walls. So my first thing I'm going to do right now is get 20 of these dirt walls. And that is because you need 20 dirt walls to craft a furnace. After that, we are going to go out and get some copper. All right, just finishing up here. So now that we have our dirt walls, we also have a small area for our garden that we're going to place down first. So let me break these last two. Otherwise, it's going to drive me crazy. And by two, I meant three. There we go. Torch is down. I see some copper already. We got our first two pieces of copper. One and two. There we go. Now we're going to head back up here. We're going to craft our workbench. We'll just put it down right there. That looks good. And our furnace. We're going to place it down there. Throw the copper in there. So we are already off to a great start. We've been in the world for like five seconds. We are going to try to speed run this stuff as much as we can. And my first or my main objectives to the series is I want to ultimately be able to defeat all of the bosses in the game. And uh, be able to collect like everything that there is in the game currently and also just have a really nice base I want to get this world to the point where my other world is my main save So we are going to kind of go out exploring I'm just going to go up all the way and see if I can see Glurch the Abominous Mash just uh, stomping around somewhere And I'm not even going to wait too long to take him on We are going to fight him pretty early so as soon as I get even some basic armor like some wood I'm going to uh, go after him, and I really hope I come across a swift feather to put in my uh, offhand slot here. That way I can dodge his attacks really easy, and that's the key. If you have like a burrito that lets you move a little bit faster and a swift feather, there's not really any reason that you should die from him. So that was a wooden pickaxe. We're going to throw it away and get another one. I do need all of this copper here, but before that, I kind of want to just go up a ways to see what we can run into. I do see some really good stuff over here on the right, so I'm going to fan out that way. New item, Turf Wall. I don't think I have ever, in like my 200 hours of playthrough on my main save, used the Turf Wall for anything. I just, I really don't like it. I think it's a pretty ugly block. I guess it'd only be useful maybe if you were doing some uh, pixel art. But other than that, it's, it's not that great to me. Okay, it looks like we have a few pieces here. Oh yeah, my skills. If we look at my skills, I got five in mining already, so let's put one in there. That gave brought me up to 2% uh, mining damage. And we have three in cooking, just because that's the profession that we started off with. Get this. We do have an orange slime up here. If you don't know, these slime will not actually attack you unless you attack them. 
And it probably takes me about three hits to uh, defeat one of them right now. This is looking really good. So we already have some crates here. If we could get some like peasant armor or something. We got a lot of mushrooms. We got some tin, ancient gemstone. So many mushrooms. I'm grabbing all of these. All right, let's get this over here. I was debating if I should pick up this slime with a shovel, but I will do that later. So far, I'm not hearing where Glurch is. Go ahead and break all this stuff. If we could get up to copper armor, that'd be really, before we go across the Glurch, that'd be really nice because copper is pretty good. Or is it bronze? It's like, it's like the same thing, made out of the same thing, right? Okay, let's break this. So much water around me, jeez. You know, the, the wooden pickaxe really isn't that much better than just punching the wall with your fist. So I'm not even sure if it's really worth crafting. I think it takes like a couple hits less, maybe. Wow, is there really nothing up here? We got some food. We are going to need those bomb peppers, though. Grab all this. And I see lots of slime over there. Maybe that's where Glurch is uh, hiding. These little spiky creatures, the spiky slime, they're, uh, they hit pretty hard, like two or three hits and you're dead. So we do not want to die or otherwise it's going to be a very short series. I really don't want to take damage. Oh my gosh, my light source. Oh, we got hit already. See what I mean? He took like a third of my health. There we go. All right, he's dead. He is dead. Oh my gosh, there's another one. No. All right, we just gotta keep dodging them. Memorizing the mobs patterns is the best thing you can do in this game because they all act the same. So all the uh, spiked mobs are gonna be the exact same. The regular slime are gonna jump the same way. And um, we got more water over here. This is all great, but it's not what we're wanting. Come on, Glurch, you gotta be around here. Look how much slime there is. Excuse me. Oh gosh, not another one. I really need a sword. Don't die. Two more hits. Three, four. Jeez, I feel like that one had a lot more health than the other ones. Oh heck yeah, we got a lot of copper here. I need more torches for sure. There we go. And then let's break all of this. So it doesn't look like... um. Glurch is here, otherwise we probably would have hurt him by now. You gotta be kidding me. Stay away. They lunge so far. Heartberry seed, we are gonna need that. Get all of this good stuff. Dang, we already have up to 22 copper, heck yeah. All right, let's let's backtrack a little bit. Let's look at our map. So we've just went north. Maybe he is over here. I don't know. I think we would have heard him if he was up there. I might go a different direction now. What's over this way? Nothing. Oh, if that thing hits me, I'm dead. Getting a little too dangerous out here. We got to go back. I really need some food now. Need some wood. I'm gonna take these uh, bomb peppers here. I guess we could take the glow pepper too. We got some more copper up here. Heck yeah, more wooden crates, let's go. Give me some good stuff. We got caveling bread, we need that. I'm gonna eat that now. Get some of this wood. Oh, not the spiky guy. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving that area. Grab all these. Really no armor yet? All right, heading back to base. It's getting too dangerous. I do not want to lose my character and have to start over. All right, so I was heading back to my base. Uh, I took this path on the right, and I, I felt uh, some rumbles here. So Glurch is just over this way. I cannot believe we actually found him so early. All right, we got our hat. It gives us plus two armor and plus two dodge. I'm gonna get this. So he's probably down a little bit. Let's check it out. Luckily, we got sand here so I can break through it fast. I don't know if he's down this way or over. Oh, shoot. I dug in that wall. I didn't see. So there's a spike guy. So he is uh, just down here. So pretty close. If I would have just went straight to the right, we would have found him. But we know where he's at now. So let's head back to base and prepare a little bit. Like I said, I am going to take him on pretty dang soon. Uh, I'm going to dig that up. Let me get a shovel and see what we have here. 
it is just a valuable. It's okay. And then uh, we have some stuff this way. We got to go up and around. I'm getting lost already. My map is like I, not too lucky so far. And it's really like, it's just a cluster of random stuff. It's not the prettiest map, but that's okay. Cause it's what we're going to have. So let's get another torch going over here and throw down our cooking pot because we are going to need to cook a lot of stuff so bomb peppers going in and some mushrooms for now let's see we need to throw some more of that so we have a lot of copper right now or a, a good amount at least and then uh, what should i make i need a sword i gotta eat something though i probably should save this burrito yeah, I am. I'm going to cook this. I forgot what the t uh, glow tulip will do. I know it'll give me glow and it's going to give me some sort of salad. Probably a mushy salad. But I don't know if it has health regen on it. It probably doesn't. And it does. Cool. Awesome. And it's a green rarity. Heck yeah. So our health is moving up now thanks to that health regen that we got from the mushroom. But we still need some more food. I am just going to eat another one. Who cares? All right, so now that that is done, we're going to grab this, see what we can craft. I could make a copper pickaxe. That would be nice. I need a copper sword. We got to get that first. I do need a hoe. I'm going to grab that. And we are going to grow some crop. Wow, you cannot hoe on sand? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but that is uh, not very cool. All right, let me mine out a little bit more. We're just going to put a few crops up for now. So many pickaxes have died in this video alone. Let's break these last two. There we go. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. I've played so much Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon in my time that I always just make my crops like a three by three. It's just ingrained into my brain. So we have heart berries here. A bomb pepper seed. We don't need the root seed yet. We don't need the glow tulip. So we are just going to use these. We do not have very many seeds at all. Okay, so we need a watering can. I need four copper. There we go. Craft that. Oh my gosh. I need, I need more stuff. Luckily, we have the water nearby, so I can grab it from there. Water the crops, and that's all you have to do for the crops. Those are going to take like five minutes and then they will be done. Food. I don't think there's anything else we can do. I'm going to craft a chest so I can throw some of this excess stuff in there. We'll throw it right there. We don't need this stuff yet. We don't need these walls. Um, Ten. I'm going to keep that on me actually. We don't need that yet. And uh, that's about it. So, what should we get with copper next? We could make a pickaxe, but we don't really need it. We do need a anvil. Throw it right there. I guess we should make some armor. Plus 8 max health, 10 max health, and 9. I'm pretty sure in my original playthrough, I skipped past all this copper stuff. But, we're at the point like any extra health points is really going to benefit us. Because we only have 100, and I don't feel like dying this early on. So, um, yeah, let's get some more copper. Anvil helmet. We already have a copper helmet. Let's go. I'm going to put that peasant hat up. There we go. Wow, we need to go get some more. Okay, so we already know we're glitches, so I'm going to head down south. Right here. And we're going to see what else we can find, and maybe we'll come across one of them, like old cross amulets that give me plus five percent critical damage that would be really nice okay we've returned with more copper i'm gonna throw that in there so we got four bars there um we still cannot make that wow it is 11 for the breastplate and then another nine for that the about pants so we need 20 and we have enough all right so once that's done smelting we um, will pretty much be able to go ahead and take on Glurch, or at least I think we can. I really wish I'd find a Swift Feather, but we haven't found like anything useful. This has been a pretty unlucky map. While that's smelting, I'm going to go out to the left to see what we can find. Because we've explored there, not really anything. I just came from here, there was like literally nothing there. Over here is Glurch the Abominous Mass. So over here to the left, that is our last hope that we can find something useful. I really need a necklace or... Um, some better armor. 
a better weapon like an axe or something would be really nice. But it looks like it's just more water over here, so... Yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. If I don't find anything over to the left, I'm just gonna fight Glurch. I think we can still take him. The only problem is he jumps so far that I'm hoping this extra movement speed from the burrito is gonna be enough to help me be able to dodge his attacks. Because the slime really, you know, it, like sticks you to the ground so you can barely move. And it just makes you move a lot slower. All right, so that took us to another lake. Man, this has been a really unlucky map so far. It's got to get better, though. There we go. I see I see some stuff over there. That's what I'm talking about. You just got to stay optimistic. So I went all the way over here to the left, and we didn't find anything good. We're just going to go ahead and fight Glurch. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can do it. Got a little more copper. Um, we need the chest piece and the pants. I'm gonna put those on. Now our stats, we're up to 17 armor. Our max health is a 125. We got extra health from the set. You get plus 10 from the chest, eight from the helmet, and then a nine from the pants. And then when I eat that, uh, I thought I had a food that gave me extra health too. Maybe I have to cook it. What was it? Bomb peppers maybe? No. Maybe it was the heartberry. Yeah, the heartberry is going to give me extra health, so we should be okay fighting fighting the boss. Let me go ahead and cook up all this stuff. I'm going to use my uh, copper sword. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Finish up that one, and then these heartberries. Yeah, this is going to give me some extra health, so it should push me up to like 150-ish. So I'm going to wait for this to cook. All right, there we go. We got our foods. I ate some. My health is all the way up, and then I'm going to eat a couple more, and that should push me into a well-fed uh, bonus, which is going to make things a lot easier. It's going to give us some extra damage against the boss. So let's head over to Glurch now. We're going to fight him. I'm going to try and clear some of the ads or the mobs nearby. And uh, where is he? I think he was down here. We still just have our copper sword, but that'll be enough to take him on. I am certain of it. So, there are a lot of mobs nearby. Try and kill as many as we can. Definitely want to kill that spike. Oh my gosh! No! Oh my gosh! I was not ready to fight you yet, bro. Chill out. I promise I will destroy you in a minute. Oh my gosh, she's jumping the gun there. Yikes. Okay, we still got that health regen. Okay, he's dead. Health regen is activated. Alright, I guess we're just going for it. Oh! <laughs> no! He's like mining all the walls for us at least. We just keep going back and forth like this. Wow, he's like clearing out a nice spot for me. Now he's going in his enraged mode. And uh, if he hits you with this, you're done for. Oh, he regen health. What the heck? Heck nah, bro. No way. Oh, shoot. Yes, we got him. Woohoo. Dude, he tried to cheat there. Are you kidding me? All right, so we got the slime jar, Glurch's eye, mechanical parts. Oh, there's that swift feather that we needed. Uh, it's okay, I just put on the lantern. And we have a cave pouch, so we have extra inventory space now. Hello, friend. We are going to bring you back to base. Going to grab this. Can you imagine dying to one of these after I just beat the boss? Okay, is there anything else around here? Not really. There we go. All right, we're going to make a room for this guy, and then uh, we're going to call it good for episode one. Try to get him a decent-looking home. But we actually did it so early in the game. Next next episode, we're going to take on Gorm the Devourer for sure. Okay, the eye goes up here. This is going to unlock three new things. We have Gorm the Devourer Scanner. We have the Hive Mother Scanner and then the Slime Sword. I actually have never really used this one because I, I had already outgrown it by the time I went and crafted it. 
All right, so now it is, that is, uh, why am I trying to put copper in there? There we go, right there. So where should we put our NPC? I guess we could just put him up here for now. Let's dig out a little room for him. There we go. That looks like a good size, and then we'll go out to this way. Okay, why did there have to be this? All right, we're going to the other side. We are gonna put him up here instead. Yeah, this looks better. This is what I meant to do. All right. Go three out that side, three out this side. Pretty large room. And we'll do about like so. Put that down. I won't be honest, it's probably gonna be a pretty ugly room for him, but it's gotta be better than living inside that slime creature, right? Oh, Ring of Stone, heck yes! 14 of mining damage, look at that. Look at that speed. Is it the same? One, two, three. Let's take it off, one, two, three. It is the same! It's okay, I'm still gonna be happy about it. I forgot how slow it is to mine. If we could get that Grubzooka pretty soon, then my life would be a lot easier. Oh my gosh, if I could hit the walls. All right, there we go. So we got that slime jar. We need to place it down in here. We need a bed and a door. So I think you need fiber. Yeah, we have fiber. So we got our bed here and then we need a door. Where do I craft the door? There it is. All right, this is really exciting. And we're gonna throw the bed down right there. We're gonna put the door down right there. And then we're gonna leave about 40 blocks for like five seconds, pretty much just out of render distance. And then our little friend should be there. I hope so. And then we will be able to sell stuff to him and make trades. He's gonna be really great since we're early game. We'll be able to purchase some stuff that we, we just don't have. All right, let's head back now. That should have been enough time for him to move in. Eat my burrito. Oh my god, he's not there. All right, let's leave again. Let's leave. I'm certain I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure it's just the bed, the slime jar. The, the room he's I made for him is like the perfect size. Maybe we just got to leave a lot further. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go all the way down here. Okay, he's gotta be here this time. There's no reason that he shouldn't be. Here we go, and there he is, woohoo! We got our merchant here. What do you have? Uh, what should I sell? Get six ancient coins for that. This is the currency in the game. I could purchase one slime for five. I could purchase a piece of wood for five. Man, his prices are outrageous. Anyways, that is it for the first episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you made it this far in the video, in the comment section below, type in GORM, G-H-O-R-M, in your uh, comment. That way I know you made it this far because we are fighting GORM that they devour in the next episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you did make it this far in the video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you all in episode two.